In today's episode of Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh, we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. In Chapter 5, Section 13. Is it possible to reconcile evil and abuse with innocence? Hi, David. I have a couple of questions. I have studied ACIM and went through the workbook once eight years ago. Although I read the book on a regular basis, I have found myself resisting some of the principles. So I am studying the text and going through the workbook again. Suddenly, ACIM teachings are affecting me differently. However, I understand that we must see the innocence in our brother and that evil is only of this world. Although I understand it, I find it hard to truly accept. How can you see the innocence in a man who has beaten and raped you? How can you give tough love to an individual who is hopelessly addicted to drugs and alcohol without being an enabler. You see, these are the areas where I feel blocked. Could you help me understand why there is no opposite to God, to love? In the Course, is the devil merely a synonym of perception of the ego? If God does not see evil... Does that mean we have to accept rapists, pedophiles and murderers without judgment? Please help me understand this. Blessings, beloved one. Thanks for sharing your inner ponderings. Your questions go to the heart of the matter called forgiveness. I have been told by the Holy Spirit that God is all-knowing, all-loving and all-powerful. God is a God of pure love. This description of God is an expression of the idea God is love and love has no opposite. What God creates is like God. Spirit comes from Spirit. God is Spirit. Christ is Spirit. Creation is Spirit. Innocence is an attribute of Spirit, just as perfection and eternity are attributes of Spirit. If evil or error were possible, divine innocence would be impossible. Yet, because divine innocence is reality, evil or error cannot be at all. Forgiveness is for illusion, not for the truth. Love does not need to be forgiven. In the oneness of God, there is nothing to forgive. Nothing God creates needs forgiveness, for creation and Christ are like God in spirit and extend God's perfection Forgiveness recognizes that what you think your brother has done has, in fact, never happened. In the Course, it is stated this way. If God is real, there is no pain. If pain is real, there is no God. Workbook Lesson 190 
God is the source of all. Pain is therefore causeless and impassable. If there were an imposter cause, a claim made against the fact of the allness of God's love, that cause or error would need to be released because the error would be the denial of divine love. This is why you are drawn to A Course in Miracles. You have not been able to reconcile love with fear, truth with illusion, or innocence with guilt. These seeming opposites can never be reconciled. To forgive is simply to accept the happy fact that truth is true and nothing else is true. To forgive is to happily release the belief in an opposite to love. To forgive is to find the innocence of spirit. As the error of separation is forgiven, you humbly accept. I am still as God created me. Workbook Review 6 Introduction You asked, Is the devil merely a synonym of perception of the ego? Yes. The ego, error, devil, was corrected by the Holy Spirit the instant the error seemed to arise. And now, your only responsibility is to accept this correction. What you believe you will perceive, as long as perception seems to last. Believe the error, and you will seem to perceive abuse and addiction. Accept the correction, and you will seem to perceive a forgiven world shining in the light of the Holy Spirit. Accept the correction, and you have given up the attempt to reconcile opposites. Accept the correction, and lasting peace is the only possible result. Accept the correction, and see the impossibility of concepts such as rapists, pedophiles, and murderers. This is the last judgment. Holy are you, eternal, free, and whole, at peace forever in the heart of God. Where is the world in this loving judgment? The world has ended in laughter, for what seemed to be a world apart from God was attempting to take serious a silly, mad idea of separation. Once the past is released, it is as if it never was, because it never was. You are not alone, and help is given you. This message, the Awakening Mind website, the many Awakening in Christ messages, the travels and the gatherings are just some of the many witnesses to the love you have called forth in your awareness. The joy I share heralds the end of illusion the peace I experience is the peace that comes from acknowledging 
that love is real and has no opposite. The Bible said to have no graven images before God. This is because God knows no images, being pure spirit. Forgive the images that never were and experience indescribable happiness. The dreamer of a dream first realizes the dreaming. Nothing can hurt the dreamer once the Holy Spirit has revealed the dream as unreal. Without judgment, all dream figures are the same. For it was only the ego that made up the categories of victim and victimizer, abused and abuser, enabled and enabler to perpetuate itself. Once the ego is released, perception has been healed and nothing blocks the way to the experience of God's divine love. All glory to the living God!